criticize capitalists or hardcore capitalist uh, ambassadors mm. that they do they do not practice capitalism within their families and within their circles of loved ones they only practice capitalism to who they deem strangers etc like mm. because when we speak about ubuntu or some other form of communal mm. living it's that but now it's living in a space where we've been pumped full of capitalistic ideas that mm. i must be wealthy alone mm. first black wealthiest african what it's individual it is weirdly on the other side where you see certain black families that are deemed wealthy mm. you'll find on the whiter families it will be and family mm. in more of the indian families it's and sons mm. whereas with us we've made it it's it's me i'm wealthy instead of no my my family or my people are wealthy but how, 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 capitalism. How, how, yeah. how good is your money as a wealthy black man when the clinic where your mother and father are collecting their tablets is not fixed and you are drinking bottles of cognac in Centen mm. how, how good is that because you're going to be called for a funeral in a few days so I respect Jacob Zuma much more than I respect the other presidents and next to Jacob Zuma I have some respect for Tabo, for for Madiba. Mm. The rest I can't mention for religious reasons. I mention so why? Because Zuma has got a home. Would rather be spending time arguing as to how, why did Jacob Zuma build a freeway to Nkanja mm. and create a community and build a home. Madiba built himself a house in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Mutata whether he built it or other people built it for him I don't know. Mm. My honorable friend uh, Elder Mbeki Mutante and Ramaphosa. I don't know in the whole country here whether their wealth can be felt by the communities that are around them. All we hear, all we hear is Lipalale, 20 million for a buffalo and, uh, and all these things that we cannot touch. That. Mm. So, so communism, as if right put it, the proper communist is at the core of his family, mm. is Ubuntu. He will create something that himself, his wife, and his children, and he's building generational wealth mm. for his family. Mm. So the capitalists will abuse everybody else, yeah. but secure their own circles. Correct. And if we could practice capitalism at that, we'll have reached the zenith of what Donald Trump was saying when he says Africa is a whore. Okay, I can't mention I'll that. say it. It's a sh Yeah. And when you say that, Trump is saying America comes first. Mm. Baga everybody else in the world. Yes. We don't care about Iran, we don't care about Iraq, Saudi Arabia and North Korea. My agenda as a president is to make sure that America comes up. America must be great again. That's it. I love Donald Trump in that context. Yes. And if Africa would adopt that principle, <laughs> bugger off the West, bugger the North, bugger the East, Africa comes first. We cascade that down to countries. We cascade that down to individuals. We may actually find that capitalism is socialism upside down. Mm. If that makes sense to you. Because then we're being selfish towards ourselves. And yeah. by doing so, we're able to develop ourselves from the bottom up. Whereas capitalism is saying abuse everyone else so that it can be well. But yeah. if we can develop ourselves from this other angle, Africa has become capitalistic in ideology. Correct. But our capitalism is now socialism in implement, implementation, mm. if that makes sense to you. Mm. Because Africa then becomes the immediate home. South Africa then becomes the immediate home. Right now we have load shading here. Why? Because a lot of the fat guys in town here cannot afford to put quality coal into the power stations. Yeah. They would rather be selling that same coal into China. Go to, Russia, go to, to, um, to Richards Bay right now. Yeah. I'm not joking. I was there. Trucks are packed from Pangeni into the bay. Mm. There are mountains of coal that are there. While our own ESCO... On their way to Germany. And, while our ESCO, and by the same people in Germany are saying you must not use coal. In America, yes. And they are, we are sending the coal there and we have load shading here. And then you look around and say, but doesn't charity begin at home? For crying out loud, Europe built its civilization on coal. Mm. Why are we not being allowed to build our civilization also on coal? And for all practical purposes, hell no. The amount of carbon dioxide Mudupi will produce into the air, it's point, 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 zero percent of what America is doing. Yes. So, who, 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 who. every first world nation has been built on fossil fuels, but we're being told as developing nations that we cannot use no, it. It's a lie. And, and by the way, when they want us to use these modern forms of energy, renewables, who is going to be supplying this stuff? Yeah. Who is going to be maintaining it? 
who are back to square one again. Go solar, go solar. We'll donate 10 million worth of solar panels. And what and what? Boom, you have the solar panels. In less than six months, they're packing up. Who do you call for services and fixing up of those things and repairs? Look at Zimbabwe. They build up the power stations mm. using British equipment. Mm. Kush, wake up one morning, we're on sanctions. Britain says, we're not doing business with you. Yeah. And the equipment is all British. And the spare parts are refusing to come. And money is going to be transferred out of the country. Hey, the government is failing. Of course the government is failing. But can we look closer at the problem and to find right at the core of the thing again? Is the man who sold you an idea? Like what the young man in Niger is doing. In France, you want your uranium? You come here and build the power station here. I love that. When Bukina, Fra- Bukina Faso. When, when, Bukina Faso. When, France, when France misbehaves, we know where the switch is. We can also just go there and do exactly to them what they are doing to us. Now, to me, that's power and that's empowerment. And I wish, I wish that even Ramaphosa, if this thing gets to him, stop selling coal to Germany and China, build power here and send those people a final product of the coal itself. And tell me if we can ban all that coal, how much power would we have here? We'll have enough for South Africa, enough for Africa. The rest of it, we can send them to the world. But it doesn't make sense that you have to send products out and then buy them back as final products at 100% of the price that you sell them to.